morning, dear. Craig, if you were one of those burglars, you know, an illegal burglar who robs people with stockings over their heads, where's the first place you'd look for $5,000? Ooh, a bank. Oh, now be sensible, Craig. Where would you find $5,000 in cash? A doctor's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean in this house. Where would you look for $5,000? In cash? Yes. The teapot on top of the fridge. <laughs> How did you know? You told me. Oh. Well, remember, Craig, the walls have lips. So not a word. <laughs> My ears are sealed, Mum. <laughs> Look, it's madness to leave that money lying around. Either put it in the bank or buy that car. The first place a burglar's going to look is a teapot on top of the fridge. My God, it's gone. See? Tricked you. <laughs> I've hidden it in the last place anyone would expect to find a teapot full of money. Where? Under the tea cosy. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, you're mad. I may be mad, Craig, but I certainly made a monkey out of your uncle. Mm. Thank goodness you're studying medicine. You're obviously not clever enough to be a burglar. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Look, Dad will blow his stack when he finds out about your little bank and New South teapot. <laughs> when are you going to tell him about buying the car? Well, I've been thinking about it, Craig. And I think it's best if I break it to him gently. You know, but your father's not stupid. He'll get the hint. When? When I park it in the driveway. <laughs> That's real subtle, Mum. Well, I daren't tell him before I buy it. He'll want to use the money to put air conditioning in the carport. <laughs> your father's <laughs> is that airborne germs are scratching the duco. Oh, he's crazy. I shouldn't be studying medicine. I should be doing psychiatry. I'd have a full-time career here at home. All I'd have to do is shove a couch in the carport. So, Walter Craig, your father is not crazy. He's just not like normal people. Where is he, anyway? Turning the record over for the greyhounds. Now, they won't eat their good o's without Johnny Cash. <laughs> Why does he play them Johnny Cash records? So they won't bite him when he wakes them up. <laughs> Repco Lad and Gaya Kubra aren't exactly morning people. Mm, they're not exactly greyhounds either. <laughs> he feeds them so much they look like Shetland ponies with muzzles. <laughs> Someone should blow those dogs up. Look at that. <laughs> what happened? They're sick oh. of Johnny Cash. <laughs> if I hadn't uh, whacked a Nana Muscuri record on, I wouldn't have got out alive. Well, no harm done. No harm done? How am I going to get to work? Were you going to ride the dogs to work? Of course not. You were going to ride Nana Muscuri to work? <laughs> Listen, boy. Well, how come you can't go to work? Rapco lad swallowed my key ring. Well, haven't you got a spare set of keys? Of course I have. I'm not stupid. Well, why don't you use them? Well, I can't. Why not? Of course, they're on the same key ring. <laughs> Dad, why do you put both sets on the same key ring? So I won't lose them, of course. <laughs> Don't they teach you anything at university? Where's my brekkie, Phil? I'm sorry, dear. Still cooking. Oh, I haven't got time now. I've got to walk to the station. I'll just have a cuppa. Ah, no. Ah. Uh, don't not? have a cup of tea. Why not? Uh, it's bad for you. You'll get Jiggler's disease. <laughs> what? Uh, Jiggler's disease. It's a new epidemic. A uh, bit deadly. Starts off with a small rash on your dangler. <laughs> what are you talking about, boy? It's true. Uh, Mum, Dad shouldn't have tea, should he? Why not, dear? Uh, he shouldn't have tea from the teapot, should he, Mum? Well, it doesn't come out of a tap, dear. Um, <laughs> give me the teapot. No, give me the bloody teapot. No. <laughs> Be silly. Come on, give your father. Ah, uh, no! Don't give your father the teapot. Oh, why not, Phil? Because your raw chop's ready. And I, I just want a cup of tea now, will you? Give us a. <laughs> right, ye mother of God, negotiable tea leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich. No, Ted. I'm rich. Aren't I, Craig? Yes, Mum. <laughs> it's mine. Fine as keepers. No, Ted, that's not fair. Uh, pickle me, Grandmother. There must be a thousand dollars here. Five thousand. I'm richer than I thought. <laughs> no, Dad. It's Mum's money. She won it in a lottery. She was keeping it a secret because she wants to buy a car. Is that true, Thelma? Yes, Ted. I'm shocked, Thelma. My own wife sneaking off and winning lotteries behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ted, I want a car. A car? You can't buy a new Kingswood for 5000 No. Well, I was thinking more of a little car, like a... like a Datsun. A Datsun? That's not a car, that's a dim sim on wheels. 
you're not going to buy a Jetson, you're going to invest it wisely for our future nest eggs. But Ted, it's my money. And she can do what she likes with it. Nope. I have spoken. Now, go and get my shirt before I miss the train. Get your own shirt. <laughs> Mark my words, you will not be frittering that away on a nip skateboard. It's going to be invested wisely. <coughs> and in the meantime, I want to put it away safely and securely where it can't get stolen. Where? In the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> your feet, Craig? Yes, Mum. Oh, thank goodness. I'd hate to come in and find them attached to a burglar's legs. <laughs> oh, is your father home yet? No. Oh, good. He hates it when he gets home before me. He's got no one to complain to. <laughs> oh, gosh, what a day. Myers have the most wonderful sales. Now, I have just about worn all the letters off my bank card. <laughs> I don't know why you keep buying things. We must have one of everything Myers ever sold. We didn't have a musical toilet roll holder. <laughs> do we really need one? Of course we do. It plays whistle while you work. <laughs> I want you a little present too, Craig. Oh, wow. What? Something to help you in your studies. What? A waste paper basket. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mum. That'll be a great help. I know, dear. You know, the salesman told me it was approved by the education department in Taiwan. Yeah, it was in Taiwan. They use them as hats. <laughs> Don't be silly, Craig. They'd have to cut eye holes in them. <laughs> and please add as it ought, Craig. I haven't got time to discuss Chinese waste paper hats. I've got to get the tea on. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. How was your day? <laughs> Total chaos, of course. Oh, that's nice to hear. Where's my trophy? What trophy? Well, the only one I've got. The one that I won at the annual Kingswood Owners Club ball for guessing correctly the engine number of the first Holden ever sold. You ought to know, dear. You bought it. Yeah, but they didn't know that. <laughs> there you are. Oh. Did you manage to catch a train all right this morning? Just. No thanks to the Pope. What do you mean? I knew I should have walked on the other side of the road, but I forgot. Sure enough, I'm walking past that bloody Catholic school. The playground's crawling with little Mick midgets. <laughs> and some spotty little Damien says, Hey, Mr. Bullpit. I look up and whack, hit in the head with a bag of marbles. <laughs> of course, that boring nun flies over and stops me zipping his head in his school bag. <laughs> you know what she said? Stop it, my son, or you'll go to hell. I said, listen, nun, I'm not your son, and if I'm going to hell, this kid's coming with me. <laughs> shut her up. Ted. Someone should blow that nun up. <laughs> What's for dinner? Roast chook. Oh, I forgot to take it out of the fridge. Now I'm away, Ted. Oh, dear. Oh. Ted. What? Quick, hold this. Why? It's been stolen. It's a hot chook. I don't want to get caught with it. <laughs> stolen my Datsun out of the fridge. Will you, will you calm down, woman? But it's gone. We've been fridge burgled. Thelma. I put it where you said. It's your fault. I put it in the crisper on top of the lettuce. Oh, who could have done it? Oh, the police. The police didn't do it. Well, where is it? Who's got my Datsun money? Look, I took it when I brought the bloke home to change the lock on the Kingswood. Oh, Oh, what a relief. Oh, that's all right, then. I can give it to me. Oh, I haven't got it. Where did you put it? Well, you haven't forgotten, have you? Of course I haven't. Well, where did you put it? I invested it in mullet offshore oil. Where's that? Off the shore, woman, in the water. <laughs> you chucked my bats and money in the ocean? <laughs> Mullet's a great investment. You bought $5,000 worth of fish? Oh, Ted, where are we going to keep them all? We have to get a bigger fridge. Just a minute. You've gone mad, Ted. You hate mullet. So do I, so does Craig. Everyone hates mullet. Will you calm down, woman? I didn't buy any fish. I bought shares in an oil company. What about my Datsun? I can't park an oil company outside mine. <laughs> that was my money, Ted. 
You stole it? I didn't steal it, Thelma. The shares are in your name. 5,000 shares in Mullet Offshore Oil. Clary on the train says they can't fail. And, and he knows because he works in the pub next to the stock exchange. <laughs> Thelma, we're going to be rich. I don't want to be rich. I just want a fridge full of money. Look, come and I'll show you. They publish the share listings every night in the paper. You mean my name will be in the paper? No, I don't want everyone knowing that I own an oil company. Quiet, Phil. Hey. Quiet. I bought your mother 5,000 shares. Now, you see here, Thelma, all the companies are listed. Now, here's ours. Mine. All right, here's yours. Mullet. Mullet? Quiet. Now, there are two columns you look at. The one on the left shows you what I paid for them this morning, see, a dollar each. And the one on the right shows what you could sell them for this afternoon, see, 80 cents. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you just lost a thousand bucks. You bought a stunned mullet. <laughs> Morning, Mum. Morning, Craig. How did you sleep? Oh, fine. Good. I'm glad somebody slept well in this house. Why, didn't you? I have only one pair of hands, Craig. How can I sleep and be angry at the same time? <laughs> How did Dad sleep? You know what your father's like, Craig. Totally insensitive. Slept like a baby right through. Then I started vacuuming his pillow. <laughs> Two o'clock this morning. <laughs> then again at four o'clock. <laughs> and at six o'clock, of course, I vacuumed the couch. Why? Because your father moved into the lounge. Where is he now? Outside, putting on a Bing Crosby record for the dogs. But they hate Bing Crosby. They'll go mad. I know. I slipped it inside a Nana Muscuri cover. <laughs> That's a bit rough, isn't it, Mum? It's a bit rough, Craig. Him stealing my money. Eat your bricky. Someone should blow those dogs up. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Thelma, my dear. <laughs> oh, I brought you a little good morning present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I accidentally dropped them. Now, listen, Thelma, this has gone far enough. Excuse me, Edward, I am trying to cook breakfast. <laughs> I've said I'm sorry. Please, get out of my way. Go somewhere. Go and sit at the table. Oh, fair go, Phil. Bloody Clary and his mullet oil. Good morning, Dad. Shut up. <laughs> Where's my brekkie? Why don't I get any brekkie? We can't afford it. Bloody woman. Mm. 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 What's the matter with you, boy? Mm. Mm. What? Stop poking me. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, Ted Quick is choking. Oh. Him on the back. Oh, hand me an axe. Oh, the paper. <laughs> get your own paper. <laughs> Look at the bloody thing. Strike me, Catholic. We're rich. <laughs> Working company of Claghorn, 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 and Claghorn. <laughs> Could I speak to Mr. Jones, please? <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Jones, my name's Thelma Bullpit. No, Bull Pit. <laughs> oh, yes, everyone says that. <laughs> anyway, I own 5,000 mullet shares. No, I I'm already married. Thank you, anyway. He's a funny man. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering if you could tell me how much they're worth at the moment. Oh, is that all? It's a funny business, this mullet oil. Five thousand one day and twenty dollars the next. <laughs> oh, twenty dollars each. Oh. How much does that add up to? One hundred thousand dollars. How much is that in blue Datsuns? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Ted! Ted! Mullet's jumped again! It's up to 100,000 blue Datsuns! Of course it has, woman. I told you, we're filthy rich. What are we going to do with all that money? Leave it to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And Wagstaff. <laughs> French champagne. Yeah, it's been soaking the dentures in it. <laughs> the days are over. Ted, don't 
you think you're being a bit lavish? Lavish, Thelma? The sky's the limit. Why, tomorrow I may even grow a moustache. We haven't even got the money yet. Mere formality. We'll wait till they reach a thousand each and then sell. How much will that be? Five million bucks. I feel dizzy. Oh, I think I'll have to sit down. <laughs> you are sitting down. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> You're going to light that huge thing? Not yet, Thelma. I'm still practicing. Oh. Ted, I think we should sell now. That'll give us enough to buy my car and even to help Greta and Bruno to get their house. Remember, greed is a sin. Well, I don't want greed. I just want buckets of money. <laughs> All I want is a little blue Datsun. Well, I've decided, Phil, you can have more than a blue Datsun. You can have the Kingswood. The Kingswood? I'm not taking the Kingswood. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Phil. I'm sorry, Ted, but I don't understand. Why are you giving me the Kingswood? Oh, it's the front doorbell. Someone must be at the door. I wonder who it could be. Open the bloody door, woman. <coughs> I hope it's not a beggar. We don't have beggars in Walmart <laughs> prison. Just open the door. Oh, hello. Mr. Bullpit. Uh, no, that's not me. Come in. Ted, this lady's here to see you. Oh, oh, sit down, my dear. <laughs> uh, champagne? A cigar? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm Fiona Beaumont oh. from Limousines Unlimited. You uh, called us this morning. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm rich, you know. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Well, that'll be all, Phil. Run along. But, Ted... Do you mind if I smoke this expensive Gucci cigar? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> Damn, haven't got a light. Uh, Thelma, trot out to the kitchen and uh, get me a twenty dollar note, will you? Ted Bullpit! Now, my dear, uh, what do you have for me? Well, I have a couple of things for you. Yes, I can see that. But <laughs> what I'm interested in is the world's best car. A new one. Well, a Rolls. Pardon? Well, how about a, a Mercedes? A statesman, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How very discerning, Mr Bullpit. You simply cannot go past an oversized Kingswood. Exactly. How do you think I'd go with a moustache? Well, fine. Well, what colours have you got? In moustaches? Statesman. Oh, well, what colour would you like? Well, the most expensive one, as long as it's not purple. Oh. G'day, Mr Bullpit. Speaking of purple. <laughs> Congratulations, I just heard the news. You're not getting any. <laughs> G'day. Hello. Well, wow, champagne. You're not getting any of that either. I don't want any. I've got a beer. One of mine? Yeah. That'd be right. Leave the money on the fridge. <laughs> no wonder he got rich. Well, perhaps you'd like to introduce us. Oh, him? He's a wog valiant owner that married the <laughs> Bruno Bertolucci. Don't worry about him. He's just a bitching Kingswood owner. Married the daughter's rich mother, you know. <laughs> Listen, mate, you can't insult me anymore. I'm loaded. You're just lucky. I could have gotten into oil too, you know. You? <laughs> the only oil you could have got into was olive oil. <laughs> In the bath. At least I take a bath. Listen, Wog. Oh, look, I, I think that perhaps I'd better go now. I, I don't want to interrupt any happy family celebration. Oh, no, don't go. No, really, I think I ought, and um, I I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, feel free. Your phone any time. We've got two phones on, one in the kitchen and, and one in here. Oh, oh, just reverse the charges or oh, uh, put the ten cents on the bill. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Dad, isn't it wonderful, all this money? <laughs> Do you want some? You can have some. She can have some, you can't. <laughs> what would you like? Oh, I don't know. I don't want anything. Yes, you do. What? A divorce. <laughs> That's not nice. Now, you apologise to Bruno. No. Go on. Oh, all right. I'll give you a present, too. What? A one-way ticket to Italy. Thanks a lot. Dad, he's my husband. No, all right. I'll chuck in a return ticket for you. Quick, where's Mum? Oh, g'day, Bruno. Mum! What's the matter, boy? Mum, where are you? You crazy. What is it, dear? Have you heard the news? Yes, we're rich. No, look. <gasps> oh, dear. Give us a look at that. Crikey, mother of God. We're broke. <laughs> Oh.
Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Listen, Wog. You've given up the cigars, have you? Watch it. Of course, you can borrow the valley at any time you like. Quite charge you much. Special father-in-law rate. Very special. Bruno. You'll never get me in that valiant. Things might be bad, but I've still got the Kingswood. No, you haven't. You gave it to me. <laughs> that was when we were rich, this afternoon. It's all right, Ted. You can keep the Kingswood. Oh, thanks, Phil. Because I'm buying a Datsun. When? 1990? Tomorrow. I sold the shares. I? What? When? The Savo. When you were flirting with the statesman. I rang Mr. Jones and he told me to get out before I lost everything. So I did. You've got your five grand back? And a bit more. How much more? Enough to buy my Datsun and to give Greta and Bruno a nice deposit for their house. Oh, <laughs> Mum, thank you. Oh, Mrs. B, you little ripper, thank you. <laughs> Bruno, you mad Latin lover. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, just a minute, woman. You get your wog hands off her, she's mine. <laughs> now, I did all the work. What about me? It's all right, Ted. I didn't forget you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well, that's all right then. What do I get? Here we are. A new key ring. <laughs>